guys welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new i'm wendy um all things mom i have five children with a newborn um i did this intro a long time ago can't find it so i'm doing it now i'm doing a collab it is amazing um i'm doing a small space organization collab um with four other lovely ladies um sorry i sound sick i had my two-year-old nephew this weekend, he had a cold. I have no immune system. I now have a sick cold. So let's just get into this. The four ladies that I'm doing this with is Hope at Hope. Oh my God. Barset, I believe that's your last name. I'm so sorry. Hope if I said that wrong. Um, and then there's Carla at Carla Alexandria. Athena at Passion by a Verb. And Robin over at Bird's, ne Bird's Tender Ness. Holy cow, I can't say that. I have them all written down here. Because I tried doing it off my memory and I have no memory. But... Let's jump right in. As See always, soon. I will have the girls linked down below. Um, go check them out. Tell them I sent you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you when Here's we get clean. The extent of our hall closet. All of those blankets. Um, I make knot blankets, and the girls would rather sleep with a knot blanket than a comforter. This is the one that's driving me bonkers. All of that. I have no idea what's in there. No idea. Let me go down and it's overflowing. This is pillowcases and sheets, but I'm gonna go through that as well and get rid of some. And then down here is comforters and like quilts. Um, I like comforters on our bed. Adam doesn't care, so he likes what I like. But we're gonna take this all out and put it all back and see what happens. So I emptied this entire shelf off. I'm gonna wipe it off, but as you can see, it's two shelves, so one, and then this one, it goes back a little bit, but it goes up. All of this came out of that cubby. And then over there, and I found a sunscreen. Look at how crazy that is. Like, oh my gosh, we need, <sighs> I need to downsize these. The problem is, in the winter here in Colorado, the girls sleep with like two knot blankets on their bed instead of a comforter, sometime with a comforter. And so I, um, I don't want to get rid of too many and I've made them all and they like all of them. And then we have a couple that I'm like, mm, I don't like that. But nobody's home. I wonder if I can get away with getting rid of some. I don't know. Slightly overwhelming. Very, very overwhelming. All right, y'all. I'm getting me some more coffee. This is rough. Like... I realize we have a lot of stuff and we live in a tiny space. <sighs> All right, filling up my coffee and getting back to it. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm tall and look at this pile and I've like squished it down like three times because I've had to climb over it. So what I think I need to do is I need to just go hard and fast. Do we love it? Do we need to keep it? Um, some of these, like this one was Addison's baby blanket when she was a baby. Um, my great grandmother made me this when I was a baby. Um, I'm going to put it all back up here because I can get it to fit. However, my pigs are fighting if you can hear them. <laughs> one likes to cuddle, one sometimes only likes to cuddle when she's feeling like it. Um, However, Joey likes to make the girls blankets for Christmas, and if they make another blanket, they're going to have to get rid of a blanket, I think is what we're going to have to do. Because um, what's not here is Kennedy also has a green dinosaur blanket. So she has four, but they usually have the same amount. I wonder who has... Let's go, let's go look at They them. each have one on their beds. So... I have no idea how Addison Kennedy has an extra one than her sisters. Maybe the Bronco one is Addison's. Thought it was Adams. Maybe I don't know. Um, but we're not going to get a new blanket until they get rid of one. Um, I think that's what we're gonna do. We'll see. Okay, so bring you all closer. I have all of it up there and I like how it's not cramped I like how with the exception of this little throw 
and Kennedy's one blanket. It's just one layer. It's not doubled up. It's easy to get in there, all of that. The problem is, I still have three blankets I need to fit in there. So, I can get rid of one of my blankets that won't make Adam too angry. I can get rid of this one right here. It's a, like an American one, this one. Here, oh, wrong way, right there. Um, but that still leaves, I need to fit two more in there. Mm, I don't know, so we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and move to the bottom blankets and see in there what's in there. Um, because there might be more knot blankets in there. Let's see. So it's now empty in there. I have lots of piles. I'm getting rid of one of our comforters because I don't need it. And I'll keep the blue one that we have on there and we'll get rid of the brown plaid one. Um, this um, afghan, my great grandmother made my purple one, made this for my brother and I got it. Um, this blanket, um, was Adam's grandmother's. Um, we don't know if she made it or not. Um, but when she passed away, his stepmom asked if I wanted it, and I said yes. Um, I love Afghans. Talk to Kennedy. So, over here, this blanket, I want to say this is Tinkerbell. Yes, Tinkerbell comforter, which is coming completely undone. Um, this is inside out. There's the Care Bear one you can see and then behind it kind of over towards the back that was in the video before. That's an Ariel. They're all twins. Kennedy is the only one with a twin size bed um, and I think she has, she has her solar system on right now. So I'm going to make her get rid of two so she can keep three of them. Um, she tends to grab the same two, so I know she's gonna keep the Care Bear and she's gonna keep the solar system. I'm not sure about the other three. This blanket Joey just got, this one, she just got from my mother-in-law from, they go to um, the powwow that Adam's family is part of or somewhat part of or I don't know. Um, so she got that one, so she's gonna, Joey's gonna wanna keep that one. Um, this comforter is actually Joey's for her full-size bed, and then Addison has the pink one that matches her bed on her bed, um, because they have full on full they have full on full bunk beds. But I'm not sure if she's gonna want to keep it. So like the downside is is I wanted to get the blankets out of the way because those are the ones that were bothering me the most. And um, ooh, sorry, that was a little shaky. My apologies. <laughs> um. I wanted to get the blankets done first because they're the ones that were kind of bothering me. You couldn't really open the doors. You had to like push the door closed because they were overflowing. But yet no one's here. Which means I can't, I don't want to get rid of their like, if I get rid of the blanket, um, it's going to be the blanket they loved. Um, not Joey, but the other two. Um, so I'm like at a standstill kind of ish. But... I'm gonna chug along and see what I can do. My word, this is a lot worse than I anticipated. Um, thought I was like, oh yeah, I'll get in and out, in and out. <sighs> but I couldn't. Um, I had to wait for the girls to get home to decide on which blankets they wanted. They didn't want in here, so you can still see everything. Um, there's actually gaps, which is lovely. Ignore that shelf. And this shelf here in that style over there um, is blankets that the girls don't use. Like they don't use a top sheet, so I was getting rid of them, but Kennedy's learning how to sew. And sheets are great, are like a cheap fabric, are good to just, you know, we're gonna get rid of it so she can use that. So this here is the stack of sheets we're keeping. These are the girls' pillowcases. These are Adam and I's pillowcases. That's Kennedy's nebulizer, which was, was in the back, and it's a pain to get to when she's having an asthma attack. And then that was Joey's first aid kit, and that's our first aid kit for the house. Plus, all of the stuff is usually in here. And then down here is the comforters we are keeping. 
that are not on a bed and then this is extra gauze and that is an ice pack right here is the sheets we're getting rid of they each got rid of one fitted sheet and then some pillowcases the monstrosity like. that we're getting rid of uh, it goes above my tv almost and those pillowcases are also we're getting right, y'all it is several several days later um life with the newborn right um he's been sick um with some gi issues so i've been busy with that but let me turn around and show you where we're at at this the point. top this is what I need to tackle. And then the blankets down there are good. And then blankets are down there are good. And that just is, I need to tackle too. So let's finish doing this bad right, boy. So the shelf is empty. Look at that. All right. Look at this. Like, holy cow. This table, the five of us eat here with no problem with plates on this table. And look at this. Huh. A lot of it I can already see stuff I need to get rid of, but... Start going. So through. it looks like we haven't gone anywhere. I love my lovely helper. Hello, helper. Hi. Thanks, Joey. Um, so I have a toothpaste toothbrush problem apparently. Very much. I just like to buy them. Um, but so that's all toothpaste. We also have like a sunscreen and bug spray issue. Um, which I could probably find more a lot of other places. This is I make my own toothpaste powder. That's hair stuff. This is all trash or expired. Some stuff's on the floor. Let's see. Um, oh, over here is um, hair curlers, lint brush, and that is like travel shampoo. All right, so here's where we are at right now. Look at my trash pile is ginormous with our shoes. So this is all like light bulbs, um, some command hooks, some little light bulbs, the little hangy, um, like plant hooks and then in this one um this one's all toothbrushes like look at that and one thing of toothpaste can't wait till that's gone and then we're going to start making our own toothpaste again um there's my pick me up this is all first aid and then this one is all travel stuff so like travel shampoo conditioner toothbrushes toothpaste all of that then in here that Joey's finishing going through is all the sunscreen. Have my label maker out so we can label this stuff. And then this is, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with. Now we're getting really real. In my teeny tiny bathroom, I have this cute little like birdhouse thing. That's really tall, so I'm 5'9", so you know, it's pretty tall. I'm not ready for that. Cupboardy stuff that I think, if I'm gonna go through it all, I might as well go through Indeed. this too all of the shelves with the exception of that one that one just has sanitation wipes and a shampoo and conditioner so there's that here is my pile I just literally shoved it all off the shelves for the most part this stuff all over here is what we're getting for but I went ahead and organized this so this is all like my creams and lotions this is my I put this on and this has my SPF um, my deodorants other face stuff. This is homemade um, tooth powder, cotton balls, eye drops. This is nail polish. This is for if you have a really bad zit, it dries it out. These are all essential oils. That's a hair growth thing. Nail polish remover. My sprays for if I want to try to get my hair. Since I've been, had the baby, my hair is really curly or it has a curl to it, so I have that. And then this is when I flat iron. This is all. Walter stuff. Final look in the cupboard thing in our bathroom. This is all mouthwash, my tooth stuff, um, the floss picks. This shelf is all shaving cream except for that thing right there. Joey when he's put that in her car. And then down here is all like hair stuff. So this side it has um, my dry shampoos, um, hairspray, detangler, um, my body sprays. It has the um, rubbing alcohol. I use that to clean um, my whiteboards. I use Sharpies for those of you that know, know on my whiteboards. Adam's extra deodorant. We buy it when it's on sale. It's the only deodorant he can use that doesn't break him out. And then there's his bar of soap and then all the sanitation wipes. A little dark, I apologize for that. Um, back there it has the hair dye stuff. Um, and this one it has all of the girls' sunscreen in there, like if they get sunburned. 
um, Adam burns really easily and then has some curlers that we don't use all the time. Here has the travel stuff and all of my extra toothbrushes and my toothpaste, my two first aid kits, because this one was ours, this one was Joey's when she was in school. Um, Adam and Addison do a nose rinse, so here's their little saline salt stuff for it. And our first Here aid. Here's one final look. There are all of our, like, not blankets, like our throw blankets and all of that, and my Afghans that my great grandma made me and my brother. Here is our shelf. I can't believe how much better it looks. There's Walter getting in the way. Oh, she didn't even get into it. This has our sheets, pillowcases, and Kenny's nebulizer. And then down here on the bottom has all the comforters. And then um, big gauze are over here. And that is a um, ice pack that you break. But there you are. It looks phenomenal. All of the blankets have been this way for about a week. And so it'll be nice and beautifully organized. Oh, that's going gonna, gonna to call it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video... Um, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.